Of all the thousands of islands dotted amongst the oceans of the world, none is more famous than the island of Malta. The supreme courage of her people in the last war wrote one of the proudest chapters in the story of the British Commonwealth. In November 1954, members of the St John Ambulance Brigade, many of whom had given magnificent service in the war years, gathered at St Luke's on the island for the brigade's annual inspection. From London came Mr C.J. Latter and his wife, and they were escorted at the ceremony by Colonel Abela. The visitors had made the journey from London to present a new ambulance to Malta. The ambulance was a gift from Mr. Harry M. Warner, president of Warner Brothers Pictures, in memory of his son, Lewis. Mr. Harry Warner had first presented Malta with an ambulance during the Second World War, and when he learned that the ambulance had fulfilled its service and needed replacing, Mr. Warner asked Mr. Latter to supply on his behalf a modern ambulance built to local needs. To receive the ambulance on behalf of the islanders and the brigade came the governor of Malta and Countess Mountbatten. Countess Mountbatten has, of course, been associated with the St. John Ambulance Brigade for many years. It was through the kindness of Earl Mountbatten that the Royal Navy shipped the new ambulance from England to Malta. The governor, who inspected the parade, is the patron of the brigade's Malta district. Then came the actual presentation. In his speech, Mr. Latter told how Mr. Warner had expressed deep regret at being unable to be present personally for the ceremony. He spoke also of the speed with which Mr. Warner had acted when he learned that his original gift of an ambulance was in need of replacement. His Excellency the Governor also spoke at the presentation ceremony. On behalf of the St. John Ambulance Brigade, he received the gift and thanked all concerned for their efforts in bringing it to the island. His Grace the Metropolitan Archbishop blessed the ambulance. Of entirely new design, the ambulance can accommodate either four stretcher and four sitting patients or 16 sitting patients. Arrangements were made to fit it with the same number plate as was on the old ambulance. This read 1565, which is of course the date when the great siege of Malta began. Through the generosity of Mr. J. Mamo of Mamo Brothers, the ambulance will be garaged free of charge. The Malta government also cooperated for they granted the brigade exemption from import duty on the vehicle. Countess Mountbatten then handed to Mr. Latter a gift of exquisite Maltese lace for Mr. and Mrs. Warner. It was the brigade's way of saying thank you to their generous benefactor 6,000 miles away. The first Harry M. Warner ambulance made a vital contribution to the welfare of Malta during recent years. Now its successor begins its duty. It is fitting that the ambulance, which will serve the people of the George Cross Island, will bear a name which will symbolize the everlasting friendship of the United States.